In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to link in jQuery uh, plugin for, uh, for your website. Um, this is a very straightforward tutorial. So we begin. I am running Xamp for this tutorial. You could be running WAMP if you want. I am using Xamp. So I'm going to open, my, open up my text editor. I created a new project called Video. And within the video is basically all the content that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. So I created an index.php file, which contains the basic skeleton of this um, web page and basically it's it's not dynamic so I want to make it dynamic and usually I use J JavaScript or jQuery um, across multiple web pages so it's simple it's simple to just just uh, include it in one place and then just use it across every web page so what I do I, as I told you guys before uh, I create an includes folder and what that is a, is uh, a folder that contains content that I use across most or all my uh, web pages on my website or a project. And then within that includes folder, there's typically three to four things that uh, uh, I usually use, such as a footer, header, or nav bar. And the header is basically what we're going to be looking at today. The header contains all your HTTP requests, which is basically your um, stuff that you get from other websites or your stylings or anything like that, any kind of plugin, library, or so forth. For this tutorial, uh, there's two ways to do it, but I'm going to show you the most simple way to do it. And that is by using um, Google's hosted uh, library. So basically, we're going to use Google's library and include JavaScript through a link, so to speak. So we go to uh, the hosted libraries on developers.google.com speed slash speed slash libraries. There'll be a link in the description. And I'll go to jQuery. And then there'll be three different versions of jQuery. You can choose which one you want based on your needs. I'll just go with the newest one. And I'll just copy that. And I'll put this within my header file. And I usually comment out each section. So let's say for this, I'll put um, the jQuery plugin. Uh, you can title it anything else that you want, but I'm going to comment it out and say jQuery plugin. And basically, all I'm going to do is include this file by using PHP on my um, main page. So within the head tag, I'm going to include. Um, this file. So before I show you that the JavaScript is actually working with the jQuery for this matter, I'm going to comment out this page and I'm going to create a script tag to demonstrate that JavaScript is not working. So, um, you, for example, you usually start out with document.ready. If you do not know this, you can look it up on multiple videos on YouTube. Um, and within this, I'm just going to do a simple, uh, a simple alert saying hello or something of that matter. Uh, Jello, yes. And we'll see if we get any errors. So I'm going to go to the web page. As you can see, it's taken a while to load and nothing happened. So I'm going to inspect the element or just inspect the page and you can see we get one error. And see, this is not defined. The dollar sign is not defined, meaning that jQuery is not properly uh, put inputted on your website. So. Well, to fix that, we're going to simply get rid of this comment, and hopefully our link from to Google allows us to use jQuery. So when the document's ready, it should alert Gello. So we'll refresh the page, and there we go. We get Gello. So, um, so basically all you have to do is write this simple line of code on each web page that uses jQuery, or actually across all your web pages actually, because that's what the purpose of a header is. Um, you include this one file and it should work across each web page. And this allows you to use JavaScript or jQuery across uh, your web pages. 
Another way you could include jQuery is by actually downloading the file and then including it by using a script tag. You can use this way if you prefer it. Um, there's two different versions. There's a development per, um, version and there's the production version. The development per, uh, version just gives you a, a more big, a bigger file for your website. It's for development purposes. And if you need the production version, is uh, you use the production version when you actually um, host the website or actually put the website online. So you can go through that as well if you want me to go through a tutorial on how to do that, you you can just leave a comment down below. But I believe this is the simplest way, is just using Google Google's hosted libraries. And use whichever version you need, include in the header file, and you should be good to go. If you want these files, be sure to check out my GitHub. All these files will be on there for each specific video. Um, if you like this video, please like the video and comment things that you like about it. Um, with that being said, I'll see you in a future video.